I'm Carolyn LeBlanc Guidry, your Jefferson County Clerk. I strongly encourage all qualified citizens to exercise their right to vote. Elections are of the utmost importance in any democratic country. As we all know, democracy is defined as a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Voting is the cornerstone of a democracy, but sadly enough, too few people vote. Voting gives citizens a voice in the government, allowing them to choose leaders and decide on issues. Some elections are very close, so each vote matters in an election. For instance, if each voting location had just one person vote differently, Richard Nixon would have beat John F. Kennedy in 1960. Now, Teresa Goodness, Chief Deputy, will explain the new changes on voter ID when voting. To go to the polls, you need to vote with a Texas driver's license issued by the Texas Department of Public Safety, also known as DPS, a Texas election identification certificate issued by DPS, a Texas personal ID card issued by DPS, a Texas license to carry a handgun issued by DPS, a United States military identification card containing your photograph, a United States citizenship certificate containing your photograph, or a United States passport. With the exception of the citizenship certificate, all these forms of identification must be expired no more than four years when you present them at the polls to qualify to vote. If you are unable to obtain one of these IDs, you can fill out a declaration at the polls explaining why and bring one of these supporting forms of identification with you. A valid voter registration certificate, a certified birth certificate, a copy or original current utility bill, a copy or original bank statement, a copy or original government check, a copy or original paycheck, a copy or an original government document with your name and an address. An original re is required if it contains a photograph. Now, there are certain exemptions to these rules. Voters with a disability may apply with the county voter registrar for a permanent exemption to showing ID at the polls. Voters with a religious objection to being photographed or voters who do not have an ID due to certain natural disasters may apply for a temporary exemption to showing ID at the polls. Please contact the Voter Registrar's Office at 409-835-8683 for more information on these exemptions. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Now Naomi Doyle, the election manager and her staff will demonstrate the wheels of democracy turning in our community. Hi, I am Naomi Doyle, elections manager here in Jefferson County. The hard voting system does not require computer skills. Begin by presenting an approved ID and checking in on the tablet as always, and then you will be given a four digit access code. This code is not connected to you. Your ballot is private. Once you get your access code, you may proceed to any open voting booth. Notice that there are privacy curtains at each voting booth to ensure voter privacy. Using the wheel and enter button, select a language. Turn the select wheel to your language until it is highlighted in red. Press enter to continue. Enter your four digit access code by using the wheel to highlight the first number then press enter and repeat for the next three numbers of the access code. After the last number in the access code is selected and entered, the first page of the ballot will appear on the screen. Once you move the highlighted bar to your desired choice, press the enter button, which marks your selection. You automatically will move to the next contest. If you make a mistake or change your mind, just move the wheel to the correct selection and press enter. When all your choices are made, a ballot summary review screen will appear before casting your ballot. This screen will list all the selections you have made and any races you have not made selections in. If you choose, you can go back from the screen, change the selections, and make selections if none were made before. If satisfied with the ballot summary, only then should you press the cast ballot button. You will see a waving American flag indicating that your vote has been cast. At this point, you have completed the voting process. You may now exit the booth and the polling location. 
The heart building system is also ADA compliant. Our dial booth is wheelchair accessible and it is audio adaptable for voters who may be blind, severely visually impaired, or who have difficulty reading. The wheel triggers the audio. Simply turn the wheel clockwise to move forward through the ballot. If you want to hear something repeated or go back to change the selection, turn the wheel counterclockwise. You will hear your selections confirmed as you enter them. Lastly, if you are physically unable to enter the polling location, curbside voting is your solution. Two election clerks can bring the voting equipment to your vehicle, where you can vote privately like everyone else. For curbside voting, please have a voter assistant come in and present the voters valid identification to check them in. Because we are required by the Texas Election Code to have two election clerks administer this process, for your convenience, the voters should call 409-835-8760 so that we may direct you to the least busy location. Otherwise, you may experience a longer wait time for two election clerks to be available. Nelson Mandela said, let us all vote in such overwhelming numbers that we show everyone how much we love our country, how much we love our people, how much we love peace, how much we love life itself. You vote, it counts.